Let's get real. Hey, let's get real. You want to get real today? So I'll talk about some of the funnies of the day. Some of the realness of the day. Some of the uniqueness of the day. I want to get real with you guys. I mean, real, real. Like, real. Like, really. I'm here. Real. Like, really. I'm right here watching, waiting for you to show up. Real type. So do me a favor. If you're watching this live, click the word live. If you're watching this in the replay, type the word replay in for me. Uh, I'd like to find out where also you are, are, are uh, messaging in from. Tell me where you're listening in from today. I'd love to know it. So I want to talk about the real, real, real things in life. Um, today, a friend of mine on Facebook just posted something. She lives here in the Dallas area. Uh, her name's Brianna. Did I say that right, Brianna? I hope. I, I, I got to make sure I, I don't mess up your name. She just says, hey, I need somebody with a truck for a little while this afternoon. Can you help? And, um, uh, you know, I noticed, you know what I mean? It showed her per post was, you know what I mean, kind of towards the Fort Worth side of town. But I'm like, eh, well, I can I can spare a few hours. So I typed back and I said, called her and I said, hey, what do you need? So I just need to have a couple things moved over for this person. I just can't fit them all in my car. Can you help me out? Sure. And basically, I went over and loaded up. Um, hey, Jenny. I basically went over and loaded all this stuff up in my truck to take uh, this lady who is basically, her house is being sold and she's moved into a, a a retirement home community. And as we go into the community, Brianna says, you know, it's sad coming into these places. And I got to tell you, it is because there's a lady who's wandering around in the hall, basically with her feet pull, pulling her, pulling her, her wheelchair around and just got the saddest face and she like watched me as I came to the door and then she watched all the way to the door and watched me out the windows of the door and watched me go to my truck and get stuff and walk back in and I just felt sorry for her I really did so I mean I walk in and hi how you doing today I'm good all of a sudden she perked up and smiled probably the first person that said hi to her in the past five years poor people and it made me think of it, of this, why I want this title today. In the end, nothing matters. You know, it's great to think that I'm doing all these things on Facebook Live, and I'm going to be of such a significance in the world. When at one point in time, these people thought they were significant. They thought they were needed in a job, needed in a place, maybe even needed, you know what I mean, right now. I mean, the poor lady, I don't know if her kids aren't even here, helping her move her stuff out of her house to her nursing home. Thinking how significant we are, when in the end, just tossed away. Move on, next. That's the real today that I actually seen. And it made me get a real perspective on my day. I'm kind of glad I went over there to help my friend. I really am, because for me, I, I don't get into many of those retirement homes because really, I, I don't have friends in them. Maybe one of your family members is in one. When's the last time you visited them? I've made two trips to the north to see my mom this year. Two. Well, the first time she really wasn't there. She left a day or two before I got there. But you know what I mean? I do that to her when she comes to Texas. Anyway. But, you know, you just think about it. I mean, these poor people, they've lived their whole life thinking they're going to be important. Just like maybe you think on here you're going to be important. Or on a blog thinking we're going to be important. But really... Where are we going to be in the end? So I actually hate this guy. I actually got to figure something out so I can actually do this with glasses. So I've been, uh, I have been to four times to see my mom in Florida. Yeah, Florida is one of those places where people go to die. I hate to say that, but how many times I've seen people who, you know, go down there and they never come back. I'm never going to move to Florida because, I mean, I know too many people who moved to Florida. They didn't come back. You know, they were old. They died. So, uh, Miss Jenny, I, I, I really loved your, your um, I really loved your thing today, uh, by the way. It was very cool. And I love trying to see if I can get you to laugh, even though you didn't. Um, so, uh, Robert, uh, she's been there for 20 years. Uh, Jenny, your folks are gone. Yeah, my dad is gone. All right. And it's one of the reasons I keep posting. So, you know, it's what everybody keeps asking why I post. Um, why I post pictures of my track, the tractor I have in the garage. There's a couple of things I have. When my dad passed away, there's a lot of things that he had that I could have pretty much said, Mom, if you're going to get rid of it, I'll take it. Um, 
part of me, because I have a truck now, wished I would have taken his truck and at least driven it, even though it was a hunk of, chunk, hunk of junk. It was dad's truck, and I probably would have drove in it just because it was dad's truck. But, I mean, I've got one of his model cars over there. I don't know if you can see it. All right. One of his model cars over there next to Wilson. And, um, and now I have his garden tractor. I live in a second floor condo and I have a garden tractor and I keep putting posts up about it to basically make fun of myself. But really it's a part of my dad that I have here. And every now and then I move the bikes out of the way and I start it up and drive it around and everybody in this complex thinks I'm a moron because I ride a lawn tractor around a concrete condo complex. I took the mower base off so it doesn't look that weird, but really, anyway. Uh, you know, basically, you know, I can ride my mountain bike around the, the complex faster than I can ride this tractor around. That's how slow that thing is. But still, it's my dad's. I'm going to keep it. I might keep it. And I actually thought about hot rodding it up and making me a drag racing lawnmower. <laughs> anyway, because really, let's get real. What is it going to matter in the end? So one of the very funny things happened today, and I think I put it out on my Instagram feed today, and I'm going to talk about it here and talk about what matters. So many of us are out there trying to sell something that we think is the ultimate solution in the world. And the actuality is we really need to do the homework at home. Because so many of us aren't doing the homework at home, and we're all broadcasting how we can fix the world. And, I'm, and, 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 if, and if this is striking a chord with me, with you, trust me, it strikes a chord with me all the time. So, all right, I don't want to feel like I'm stepping on toes here, but I step on my own when I go through this. You know what I mean? Everything I do in the blogging world, I try to actually make sure I've tried it, not just preach about it. I'm doing it, not just teaching it. That's me. That's why I did this whole thing on ClickFunnels, by the way, because... Everybody else who's writing a blog post on ClickFunnels and, and some of the people who are connected with me on Facebook through this ClickFunnels deal are still all rah, rah, ClickFunnels because they want their affiliate fees. That's all they want. It's all about the money. They don't give a shit about the process. They're on the promotion wagon because everybody else is on the promotion wagon because ClickFunnels started the promotion wagon because Russell Brunson's trying to fill his vacation videos and on and on, on and on and on and on. I'm giving you a true perspective of it. Why? Because it's not all a box of fun. It had a learning curve that hit me hard. And I know how to play games on the internet a little bit. I know how to play games on websites and set things up and make things, I mean, make, I mean, come on. I was able to sell somebody a cert certification for Blab for crying out loud. And I get on the ClickFunnels and I'm lost. So I, I literally shared my journey. And one day I was up, next day I was down. One day I was up, next day I was down. In the long run, uh, it, it, it benefited me doing it because the people from ClickFunnels reached out to me and said, hey, how, how can we help you? And they shared with me, you know what I mean, a lot of their processes, a lot of things they have to help people, and then offered, hey, you want, do you want this? Will this help you? All right? And, and then they made me a very sweet offer that I am so thankful for. And I told them, I said, I didn't do this to get a deal from you. I did this to share my journey so my audience can read it and go, well, this is just not somebody else who's just blowing smoke up my ass to get me to go try ClickFunnels. And I'm sharing with you the crap that I can't get right. And 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 literally this gentleman on the phone yesterday, his name was Mark, and he got on a phone call with me and walked me through things on ClickFunnels, which really it's not part of what they do. He just went out of his way for me because I basically went out of my way to be real about it. Uh, and I built a great relationship with the guy. And that's probably some of you guys – just like Jenny was talking about here a little bit ago. Be real on here and find out what happens. Guess what? Sometimes my being real has lost me audience. But at least I'm not faking it to keep you being honest. That's real. Because in the end, I'm going to be that guy who's probably sitting in a nursing home with nobody to come by and visit. Now, I hope I stay out here, but I mean, I'm using that as an analogy today to really make you think about it. We're only here for a little while. And in case you haven't figured out, none of us gets out of this sucker alive. None of us. Why did you stop your podcast? Well, Michelle, because uh, my podcast, my radio show, was an expense that really was not directly related to my business. So 
you know, right now, and I'm Jenny, I'm going to use you again, honey, because you're in here. Jenny right now does an awful lot of things in her podcasting and her live streaming because she has a benefit. She's trying to get in to speak at, um, speak at a conference. So she's trying to do stuff to relate to that. But her speaking at that conference is going to boost her business that she does to fill with live streaming. So you see, it has a benefit to go around. So many, so many people are out there, and we listen to an awful lot of these gurus who say, if you want to grow your business, go do this, and then 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 go do this. And, go do this. and before you know it, you're doing 50,000 things, and your business is here losing money because you follow what every guru says. Hey, you need to write a book. You need to have a radio show. You need to have a live stream. You need to be on Facebook Live. You need to be on Periscope. You need to be on Blab. You need to be on B Live TV. You need to have a webinar. You need to have live events. You know, Before you know it, you're doing a million things, and none of them relates to a direct line back to your business. I love the guys over at Radio Star Networks. They're friends of mine, and, and, and I will promote anybody who wants to go over there and run a radio show. I will give you Dave Pratt's personal number and say, go talk to him if you think that's for you. For the time being, it wasn't for me because it was a distraction from my business. While it was cool and it was fun, it wasn't a direct relationship to bring back to my business. All right? Uh, yeah, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Uh, and that's what you got to do in your business, because if you're not doing something that's got a direct relationship back to your business, I don't care how cool you think Facebook Live is. I don't care how cool you think Snapchat, Instagram, uh, you know, I don't know, it, Robert, list a million things down here that people are jumping over all this time right now, whatever the latest thing is. If you keep following the latest things and they don't, you can't directly build a path from that thing back to your business, then I don't care what guru is trying to sell it to you. You don't need to be doing it right now. I'm just being honest. That's why I wrote blog posts yesterday saying the law of attraction is a bunch of crap. And, I, and I'm surprised that I did not get as many people fighting me from law of attraction because basically I called them out yesterday on a blog post. And I said, if you're arguing me, with me over the law of attraction, then you're proving it's wrong. Just a fact. And I think that finally, I think that was finally the case to get them to all shut up about it. Now, it's okay for you to go believe it, but when you come over here and try to fight me and convince me that it's right, then you're basically saying you want people to fight you for your business. I don't want people to fight me for my business, and I'm going to hit it with you from the heart, from the one-two punch, from whatever. I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass. Do I care if you – I mean, I'm doing a thing on ClickFunnels right now. Do I care if you get into ClickFunnels or not? No, I don't, because if it's not for you, then don't do it. And if my – if my blog posts about ClickFunnels made you realize, well, that's probably not the greatest thing for me right now, then great. If my thing for you went, oh, man, you know, 14 days for free, maybe I should try it. Great. If you use my affiliate link, I get to buy a cup of coffee. I appreciate it. All right? That's it. Most people are so busy trying to sell the affiliate thing that they're forgetting about putting out what's be of the best interest for the client, not the best interest for your pocketbook. And I know a lot of gurus that are out there trying to tell you all these things, that and they have great intentions, but their biggest intention is to fill their pocketbook. I don't care about my pocketbook. I live in a condo, not a 5,000-square-foot mansion for a reason. I've had it, and I don't care for it. I drive a truck and not a Porsche or a Mercedes. I'm happy where I'm at because I help people, all right? And I'm literally, I want to take the Zig Ziglar thing to the truest of things. I'm going to help enough of you get what you need, want, and and, and need and, and are going to do. And, and, and God and the universe, however you want to put it, will take care of me in, in due time. And I'm just going to keep helping you get what you got to do. Because in the end, I'm the single guy sitting in the nursing home with nobody visiting me. It's the whole reason why I'm doing that. It's because in the end, it isn't going to matter. 20 years from now, it isn't going to matter that Tim Gillette, because Tim Gillette probably won't be here 20 years from now helping you. I hope I'm still around, you know, at age 70, but we'll see. Bottom line is, I'm here to help today. And I'm not just here to help build my own pocketbook. I can actually go out and find ways to actually make a living. I have a real estate company that pays me more money. 
uh, then, then I, well, not more money than I need right now. I'm kind of spending more than I make. But anyway, I could quit the coaching, quit the blogging, quit all of that today and go buy two or three more properties and make a ton more money if I want to. And that's how I could make money. But I come in here to do this. And yes, I make a little bit of money doing it. Because if I didn't make a little bit of money in doing it, after a while, I'm going to leave it. Because I, after all, it is a business. It's not a charity. And I don't even know why I went down that terms. But anyway, let's see some of the things here that actual Robert has put up here. Snap, video, Facebook Live, B Live, YouTube Live, Twitter, ClickFunnels, Lead Pages, Instagram Live, Pinterest. Uh, all of those. So, um, and, and, and it's one of the reasons, I, you know what I mean, Robert, you're exactly right. You can keep going with them. So many of you get lost over on those things, and gr they have great purposes, but if they don't directly relate you back to your business, then doing them for the sake of doing them is a waste of time. You want to build a business? This is a business. I am on here today. Believe it or not, I'm on here today for business. I'm not on here today just so I can go, yeah, let me spew off about my worthless life and try to boost my own ego. No, I'm on here for business. I'm on here to help you, to let you see a little bit of me, like Jenny said earlier today. Just see a little bit of me. See who the real Tim is. And let me talk to you about the real things that matter to me. And I get off on tangents. Anyway, make them go back to where they want to go. So uh, any of you guys, any questions you want to ask, all right? Shoot them now, man. I, I, I'm, I'm in the mode to answer. I'm only at 16 minutes. I go to 20, so... So what you're saying is do your style you. Yeah, do you. You know, Zig Ziglar once told me, he said, Tim, you'd really suck at being Zig Ziglar. And I was watching Tom this morning, by the way. If you've not, you're not following Tom Ziglar, or actually Zig Ziglar actually has a profile on here, and Tom actually broadcasts from it. And they did a webinar today for speakers, and I watched Tom this morning. Tom is, I'm telling you, man, that, learns, that man learns storytelling from his dad. You need to follow Tom Ziegler online, guys. He's, got, he's phenomenal, phenomenal this morning, what he did on Facebook Live, that taking what his dad brought and using it in a modern-day world, oh, my God, it blew my mind. So strategy for your social media is based on two things. One, your target niche. Two, what, what do you do best to convert, convey your message? How do you express yourself best? I don't know. I agree with that. You know, There's two things I tell people that they need to do in business. If you've got a business out there, which I've got my business, there's two two purposes and two main purposes only if I'm helping you. I need to need I either need to help you save time or I need to help you make more money. If I am not helping you do either one of them, then my business is failing. How do you keep from getting burned out? John, I don't. I get burned out all the time. I go, 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 and then get burned out. There's no way to keep yourself. If you think you're going to find life balance, okay, that's another myth that the life coaching world has created is life balance. There ain't no such thing as life balance. That's just being dead honest with you. All right. And I think that's probably why the gurus don't like me anymore. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you on something. Life balance is a, just like the law of attraction. It's a load of shit. All right. You got to get out of balance to be successful every now and then. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. How do you get out of your comfort zone and stay in balance? You can't tell them both things, man. You got to do one. Only other. you're going to have to get out of balance to figure something out. I get my life out of balance all the time. I literally, in the past three weeks, started something new. All right, and and decided I'm working on building. Um, I'm building. Actually, I'm trying to build ten. 10 daily habits into my life. I am currently at four things that I do daily. All right. And I'm trying to balance them between uh, uh, the, the the four different things you try to do. Number one, you got, and this is in the blogging world. I teach people, number one, you got to start. Number two, you got to create content. Number three, you got to get followers. Number four, you got to build community. Number five, you actually make money. And hey, Ricky Prime, buddy. I haven't seen you in a while. Boy, it is good to see you. There's another guy, another one you guys need to follow. Ricky Prime. Good dude, man. I love that guy. So you need to follow him. Good, good to see you, Ricky, man. It's been a long time. So, but here's four things that I started doing every day. And they're on this list here. Number one, I give somebody a Facebook shout out every day. This morning, I shouted out to my good friend here in Dallas, Aaron Smith. To me, Aaron Smith is one of the, um, the leaders in Dallas. 
And um, I don't think she gets enough credit for what she does in Dallas. I think she should be much bigger than she is. Um, and I really, really, uh, I think you should follow her. I think you should connect with her. All right. She's somebody, if she does a Facebook live, you better be listening. All right. She's somebody you need to tune into. Uh, yesterday's shout out was to Mark K. I got to know Mark K through, uh, through Facebook, uh, through the election season. The day before was Katrina Sawa. The day before was Clint Fuqua. You know what I mean? That's what I do. I do a Facebook like. Then I text message five people every day. I used to do 10, but I back it down to five so that I don't wear through my list. And uh, Denise O'Brien, Denise finally texted me back from yesterday, and I said, hey, I just texted her yesterday, and I said, I was thinking, this is my text. It's not, not hard to do. Five people on my who I have their cell phone numbers. Hey, was thinking about you today. Thought I would reach out and just say hi. I hope you have an awesome day. Tim, no sales pitch. No, try to get through. How can I, how can I, how can I market to you today? Just, hey, just thinking about you and want to say hi. Um, and I did that with somebody's Facebook post. I go in and just say, hey, yeah, I'm thinking about you. And uh, my childhood pastor from my church, his daughter, Joanna, I mean, because I've connected to her throughout the years, her daughter, his daughter, Joanna, posted something on Facebook about a state fair or a fairgrounds she was at in Pennsylvania. And I just wrote a comment to it. Yeah, I remember my dad used to do tractor pulls at that fair when we were kids. And um, one of my dad's friends seen me post it that I haven't seen in ages and he liked it. But then on the flip side, something really great happened was uh, there was this family that, that we're, I, we're kind of close as kids, me and, and, and their younger, this family's younger daughter. We're kind of close. Um, her name is Brenda. And, and I get a text or a Facebook message, not last night, the night before. Maybe it was last night. I think it was, it might've been last night. Um, and just said, is this Tim Gillette from South Canaan, Pennsylvania? And I said, yeah. She goes, I don't remember. No, if you remember me, and she told me her name's Brenda, and she told me her maiden last name. So she remember. I was like, yeah, I remember you. Uh, we had a 25-minute conversation. Her and her husband ride motorcycles. They live in Wisconsin, and they're you know, great people. It's like, wow. I mean, that's someone I connected with because we did a reach out like this. So then the next thing I do, and this is something, you know, I do, and I, I'm going to mention it, and this is what I'm going to close out with today, guys, because I'm a little over, is every day I pick five people from my email list. In other words, if you're on my email marketing list, I pick five of you and I send an email to you and say, you are the VIP of the day. What can I do to help you today? I'll give you a shout out on Facebook. Maybe you need to hey, tell me, you tell your audience about my thing. I'll write an email, give, send it to my audience and say, hey, I just connected with so-and-so on my list and I'll write an email for your people. Maybe you just need to talk. I've had some people go, you know, I'm just exhausted. Can I talk to you about something for a couple minutes? So I got on the phone with them got on the phone with somebody else the other day and gave them an idea for their podcast on how to use my blogging idea to build it into a, a media empire. I was, whoa, never thought of that. So, I mean, it's just taking the very same ideas I do and apply it to her podcast. Well, immediately she said, well, we're doing a recording on our podcast today. You want to jump on today as a guest? I'm, sure. So, but I pick five of them every day and send you a message. And if, you write me back and say, hey, I just need a phone call. Great, you get it. No upsell, no marketing, just you're picked as the VIP of the day. But the only people who get that privilege are those people who signed up for something on my list. So I'm currently redoing this video, but it's up there right now. It's still in my old one is, is at nottompetty.com. You go to nottompetty.com, and actually there's a video of me. It's on one of the back pages of timgillette.com. And, and basically, you can sign up, and you get, on my, you get on my list that way. And there's two things that we do with the list. Number one is we send you the notifications every week that we're going to do a blogging, something about blogging training on a webinar-type platform, and you can attend live. You get to attend live free of charge anytime you want. There's a recording done every week, but for my inner circle, we record it and put it in the inner circle page. And uh, number two is, is I actually have, currently I still have a newsletter that I produce every on a weekly basis. Uh, I think Robert, or there's a video in that series uh, of newsletters that Robert actually and I did together uh, last year. Almost, oh gosh, almost two years ago now. Wow. Uh, time flies when you're having fun. Uh, and they're just a bunch of like, you know, newsletters. So uh, the other great thing about those people who are on my list 
as I have, you know, if you, if you, you actually get to get to show up to one of my trainings, you get to see what we do in blogging is I do blog posts about people. And once I actually get this whole system up and writing, I'm actually got two other blogs that are going to kick right back into high gear and go back using the same concept. And those two blogs right now have been implemented ideas for years. And they're going to just kick right into gear because I'm going to implement the very system that I use to teach everybody else how to blog. I'm going to put in, in gear and we're going to watch how fast I grow that blog in 60 days. Because all I have is the domain name at this point and a Facebook group or some Facebook stuff, but that's it. I don't even have a following, but I'm going to do what I teach in both of those. And I'm actually going to save the, save the timeline and tell you guys how fast I grew it again. Even after I've been doing the concept, but I'm going to go start from fresh and see if I can't build a whole new list doing it, a whole new following doing it in different niches. Why not? All right. It goes back to you got to be able to do what you teach. So which come down to, I don't know if I, I don't remember, I remembered it, but earlier today, I put it on my Instagram and it came up earlier was this morning. I got a, I got a message from someone. We were following each other on Twitter and I unfollowed him because I was like, I can't believe you did this. He sent me a message on Twitter this morning about his uh, Twitter, build your Twitter following uh, um, uh, program. And how he can help me double the size of my audience, uh, double the size of my followers on Twitter, by 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 buying, basically, he because he's in 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 other words, by buying Twitter followers. And um, I looked at it because we follow each other, and I looked at it. His his Twitter page is something entirely different, but he's in the background trying to sell messages and messaging people, trying to sell them this Twitter following thing. He has been on Twitter since 2009 or 8, and he has 628, 623 followers. I've been on Twitter since 2010 or 11, and I have 22,000 followers. And he's going to help me double my following. Would you trust him? Would you put your money into his product or service? Just saying. Anyway. So that's it for the day, guys. I do these things right now, and I write a blog post every day. I'm working on getting this up, to, getting my list up to 10 things, habits I do daily. These habits, by the way, everything I do on this list takes me less than 30 minutes of my day. And that 30 minutes every day builds more about my community than anything I do. And now maybe, maybe, maybe I'm going to add to the list, do a video every day, because I've been trying to do this. With everybody. I think everybody's doing it in August where they're doing the – I don't know what you guys are doing. I, just, I do my own thing. Anyway, uh, and for all of those people who I said don't comment on my post and comment on my post, you rebels, you. You had to know I was doing that on purpose, didn't you? Anyway. Hey, guys, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you go over and follow me at nottompetty.com or follow both my Facebook pages. Look forward to it. Write some notes in, the, in, in here and tell me if there's something you got. If you got something great out of it, share it with your audience, all right? Or tell us down here what what um, tell us what you learned today. Um, remember, in the end, what really matters. Think about it as you're trying to do something. All right, have a great day, guys.